Good evening, pirates. As promised, this is actually a follow-up video to the uh, unboxings that I've done for uh, Challenge 4. Um, I'm going to go through each of the uh, dice that I received. We're going to kind of learn a little bit about what each one is, and it's just going to be a short, quick little vid. So, uh, the first one I received was the Los Banda Guide, and it was the two dice, one cup. The dice, uh, if you remember, was these are actually the dice from their uh, their initial challenge for the year for 2016. Uh, it was a game they played uh, where we all got in on a G Plus Hangout, had a good time. The video is posted on our website. Uh, lots of shenanigans in that one. But there is a, uh, basically what it is, is you roll the dice, and one dice is what you do, and the other dice is what you give to somebody. So there's truth, drink, dare, close. Uh, hold on. I can't remember what the skull is off the top of my head. Uh, one skull, you may pick one player to receive a spanking. You also get the person to give the spanking to... Uh, who, you, uh, blah, 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 blah. you also get to pick the person to give the spanking. Now, if you roll two skulls, you pick a player to receive a Sharpie tattoo. You may also pick who draws the tattoo. So, these may be coming out to Pirate Fest. Um, good, solid dice. Uh, I talked a little bit with uh, Don. He's the one that made them. And uh, they're nice, sturdy. And I've rolled them for their accuracy. And I'm not going to tell... But, uh, yeah, I like them. Uh, Close Bandit Guide, great entry. And the next one is, I received was the Ninja Pirates. And as I mentioned in that video, these are uh, hand-carved by Jeebus. Um, they're a combination of bone and antler. Uh, whenever I did my video, I initially thought this was part of the uh, Drunken Sextant. It's actually a piece of the canvas from... The board game that Jeebus made, once again, for Challenge 1 this year. Uh, if any of you haven't noticed, the theme for this year has been games and camaraderie. So this is a piece of canvas from the board game that Jeebus made, which I actually have a copy of right here. Ugh, which, uh, Jeebus, I think uh, I, I actually intended to uh, post my unboxing vid. I don't think I've done that yet. Let me go through my archives and see if I can find it. Um, but I do have that video out there, and... Uh, who knows, maybe one of these days I'll get it posted. Probably not before Pirate Fest, though. Um, but the dice, there are, uh, there's four ciders, six ciders, eight ciders, and 12 ciders in here. Um, once again, my absolute favorite one, Jeebus, is this little chalice-looking one you've made. I've actually carried it in my pocket every day since I received it. Uh, it's come to work with me. It's just, it's a great little fidgeting thing, and uh, I love it, so... Once again, Jeebus. Uh, oh, yeah, for those of you who can't remember, it came in this really cool little box right here. There's all the dice. Uh, absolutely love it. This is a great entry uh, from the Ninja Pirates. Thank you so much, Jeebus. It's fantastic. The last entry that I've received so far. Now, there are still two days, so there may still be something coming in the mail, but I haven't heard from anybody, so mm, we'll see. Um, the last entry I got was from Order of Grayskull. Uh, this right here is the dice cup that they made me. The bottom of it has Pirates of the Ble oh, Pirates of the Bleeding Maiden on it. It's got an anchor for me, an AA, AKA Admiral Ash. Um, this is uh, oak is what I was told, hand carved. Um, now what I am going to do, since I'm actually working on a wood project this weekend, the, the outside of this is uh, clear coated. I'm actually going to pour uh, a acrylic po epoxy uh, in here just to seal it up and make sure that it lasts forever. Now, all in all, I have received 13 dice from, uh, uh, from Order of Grayskull. Ten of those dice are just your regular standard dice. They've just regular little six-siders. Uh, this one right here has the anchor on it. This one right here has the tankard on it. There's one with... The Bleeding Maiden banner on it. Got to get real close. I don't know if the camera's probably, the camera's probably not going to be able to focus on that. There we go. There is... Oh, there's my other tankard. Da, 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 da. There's my other anchored. Ah, there we go. There's one with the Kraken Fleet. It's got tentacles on it. And then there's, last but not least, Royalty. Stands for uh, Pirate King, Pirate Queen. So... All in all, like I said, I have 13 dice. Ten of them are your standard dice, two of each of the symbols I just showed you. There's also 
three fun little dice in here that uh, I don't know if you all remember as part of the challenge. I did say I would award some extra credit for the most rigged dice. These three dice right here actually are rigged. And when I roll them, right here, I just rolled three threes. If I roll them again, I just rolled three fives. And if I roll them again, I rolled two fives and a three. These dice are very rigged and I love them. And when you look at them, it's almost impossible to tell that they are not rigged, um, especially if you got a bunch of people rolling dice. I love it. Um, so that was part of the challenge was to see who could make a rigged dice. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I will be declaring a winner of this challenge very soon. Um, I, winner may have already been determined. Uh, I'm just not going to tell you all in this video. So um, very interesting year as far as the wheel goes. Uh, you all will hear more on this soon. So uh, love y'all. And uh, once again, two weeks, I'm going to be hugging each and every one of you, drinking with every one of you. And uh, I can't wait. So see y'all soon.